Hello everybody. Um, just wanted to give you an update. I've done a little bit of um, trial and error with my new colored pencils. Um, if you hear a noise, I'm babysitting friend's dog, so she's wandering about the studio. So you may hear her, but anyways. Uh, these are the Castle colored pencils that I bought. Um, there was that video recently. Anyways, um, what I did was I went through and checked through their color system. Uh, this was the little swatch thing that it came with. All these lovely colors. I went through and marked, I don't know if you can see, like here, I marked the ones that, that the set had in it. Okay, and kind of checked it with the swatch. The swatch and the actual color of the colored pencils wasn't too far off. I was kind of surprised. I uh, often find that the swatch that comes, the printed swatch, doesn't match the, um, the product just because, um, you know, just the printing process causes some color shift. Um, this glossy paper wasn't the best to draw on, so it, I did have some troubles with that. But that helped me to figure out what was in the set and what was not in the set. Um, and then what I did was I swatched them according to their number order, exactly like they are inside the case. They came um, in order which I was really surprised. So they came starting number one, two, three, so forth and so on. So I went ahead and swatched them one, two, three, all the way through uh, 72, which was the white. And then I swatched it in the order that was in this color system chart, which was not in the one, two, three order uh, necessarily. So like you can see, they went one, two, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then they did 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, they were pretty consistent until I got to over somewhere. Oh, no, this is the one in, uh, I'm, I'm backwards. This is the one that's in number order, one through whatever. This is the one I did in the other color system order, so they don't go in order. So it was one, two, four, three, five, six, eight, nine, ten, seven, eleven, twenty. So they don't go in the same. So they're a little bit different. I don't know if you can tell even. They're very similar, but they're a little bit different. So, um, but I actually found this to stay in the order, in the number order, to be more consistent. Like this one, look at this. They put number 25 between 64 and 70 on this color chart, which was, I thought, weird because it really didn't go there. It was more of a red. It was better up here in 25 in the number order. So <clears throat> I just wanted to see if these numbers... Uh, were the way I wanted to organize my uh, my thing or if I wanted to do it in the color system order and these orders were, were the way I wanted to go. So I'm keeping them in number order. And then I swatched them on black just to see how they worked on black paper. You can see that the that the dark colors, the dark blues and the dark greens really don't show up on the black but the other colors the yellows and the light blues and the light greens really show up really well on the black. And then I did get the Uniball Signo pens. These came uh, in the white and in the silver. They don't look a whole lot different except for when you kind of twist them you can kind of see that the silver it's got that little bit of a silver sheen to it um, but those both work 
really well. I just wanted to test those out because those were my new pens. And then what I did is I actually drew a little, um, just to test. I wanted to test a few things. I, I did uh, color in a coloring page and I tested um, my polychromos. I only have a small set of polychromos. I only have this little 12 color set because this came in my Jazz's Jazzy Art Box. Um, so I only have those colors. So what I did was <clears throat> in my polychromos I used ba basically most of these colors. The, the red through green. I didn't do the browns. But it did the red through green. Um, it did those eight colors. And then picked colors that were very similar. And so there's the polychromos. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to have to put... Let me zoom you this way. So this stays in the light. Okay, so these are the polychromo colors that I have. So I tried to pick castle colors that were similar and Prismacolors that were similar as best I could. And then um, I did a little drawing and I colored in with the different uh, pencils just to see how each of them worked. So on this half of this uh, drawing I, I did sort of like a mandala like drawing and on this half I colored in a light hand with um, the shading, the colored shading from, uh, was that how I did it? No, that's not how I did it. Every other one. So this one here is with the shading. And then this one right opposite is with the just deep. Okay, so that's the castle colors deep and this is the castle colors with a light hand and some shading. And then the same again here. There's the polychromos colors deep and the ones with uh, light shading. And then these are the Prisma colors light shaded and the Prisma colors deep. So I did every other one. Uh, you know, the colors are going to be a little bit different because of the brand and the shades of the colors, but I wanted to see how they compared. Uh, this is my light hand. Uh, how I normally color like in a coloring book. I usually do a light one with a little bit of uh, another layer over the top and then this is like a solid fill and I wanted to see how both of those worked and as you can see they are all three very similar. Very very similar. The um, Prismacolors are a lot waxier and softer. Um, than the Polychromos and the Castle. The Polychromos and the Castle both acted very, quite quite similarly. The um, I would say the Castle is somewhere in between the Polychromos and the Prismacolor in the way of um, softness. They're sort of in between. But for a, a cheap colored pencil I think they really performed well. I was I was pleasantly surprised at how well they performed. And then I just got out my coloring, my adult coloring book, and I found a coloring page that I wanted to do, and I just colored the whole page with. Um, oh, you're not going to be able to see that whole thing. I got to zoom out. I just colored the whole page with these new colored pencils, and they look awesome. I think they're great. And then the last thing I did, so that you guys can really just get a feel for um, pricing, is as of mid-June, let's see, let me move this so I can get this zoomed in with lots of light on it. As of mid-June 2020 on Amazon US, you could get these different Prismacolor sets. You could get 150 all the way down to 12. And depending on how many, this is the pricing. 
and depending on uh, how many were in a set, I divided it out, and this is per pencil. So if you got the 150 set in Prismacolors, it would cost you $95.99, so basically 100 bucks, and it comes out to 64 cents per pencil. Okay, uh, you can get the Prismacolors in individual colors. Uh, I didn't go look them up how much individual colors were, but you can, like, if you use up all of your yellow or your green of a particular one, you can go and buy just that one color. So that's an advantage to the Prismacolors and the Polychromos, both. Um, Polychromos are hecka expensive. I did not, now I know why I only have a set of 12, because the 12 tin set $24. And if you got the 120 set in the tin, it's $275. And then you can get it in a wooden box for $389.95. That's ridiculous. I just just ridiculous. Um <clears throat> the cheapest way to get a polychromos right now would be to get the 60 uh, bo box tin set comes out to $1.66 per pencil. That's a big difference between $0.64 cents per pencil. Even even if you got it in the most expensive way to buy them, uh, the 48 tin set uh, is $0.99 cents a pencil. The cheapest here is $1.66 per pencil. So they're almost twice as expensive. That's crazy. Um, and then these new castle ones, uh, they come in a set of 24 in a tin, 72 in a tin or in the zippered case. And they were the same price whether you got them in the tin or the zippered case. Why wouldn't you buy the zipper case? And then 120 set in a tin. Now, this came out to be the least expensive. The 120 set in a tin is $47.99. Um, it was $37.99 for the zippered case one, and that's I I chose that because I wanted the case. Um, and then it comes in a 24 set for $14.99, which is still you know a good price. This is this could be a little pricey, but if you break it down by per pencil, if you get the 120 set set, it's only 40 cents per pencil. Compare that to a dollar sixty-six per pencil for Polychromos. Uh, these are a budget-friendly uh, colored pencil that performs what I thought was really well, um, and I just can't believe the quality for the price because. If you had told me that I was going to be coloring with a 40 cent per pencil colored pencil, I would have told you that it's going to be a horrible experience. And it's not. They're they're comparable. They're an artist quality pencil. I'm really surprised. Um, so just, this is my own personal opinion, my own personal review, but this is how I feel about these particular brand. I have not tried the Arteza ones yet and I would really uh, be interested in also exploring the Arteza ones and comparing them to these um, because that's also a supposed to be a an artist quality at a more budget price. Um, so maybe the next time I get a little bit of extra money I will invest in those as well and give you an update on this. But I just wanted to let you guys know that you know, this is really a a stellar set for the price. You know, uh, I know it's kind of pricey to outlay almost forty dollars on um, as an initial investment, thirty seven ninety nine. That's you know, and that doesn't include shipping if you have to pay for shipping where you are, and um, doesn't include include sales tax if you have sales tax where you are. But um, you know. These are nice pencils. Really, really nice. So, and you get the, the, the case and everything. I thought it was a good deal. And, um, anyway, that's my review of this Castle Arts 
uh, brand color pencils. Um, I'm also interested in maybe seeing they have other products. They have um, drawing pencils, which I don't really use, but they also have acrylic paints, which I do use, and they have um, watercolor brush pens and uh, fabric paints. So I'm, I'm really interested in, in comparing these products to maybe, um, like I said, uh, Arteza. So if I get any extra money uh, coming in, that's what I do with my YouTube money, by the way. I don't get a lot of YouTube money. Um, I have only been paid, I don't know, a couple of times a year, two or three times a year. I don't, I don't get, I don't make the big YouTube bucks like some people do. But if I should get some extra money, um, I will definitely look into either investing in some Arteza color pencils first or some of the Castle other supplies and see how they go. Anyway, that's it for today. I will see you guys on the next regular video and um, hope you are all doing well. Go out and do something nice for someone today. Make the world a better place by doing something uh, nice for someone. I just looked down at the dog. She's just like splayed all over on the floor because it's hot. It, 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 it's going to be another roasty day. Um, and I will see you guys on the next regular video. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.